In this example, you can see what the existing left-hand side road looks like. The objective is to go and make the left-hand side road wider and then calculate the additional layer work volumes used to make the road wider. So let's first of all make the road wider. We go to alignment, regression, extract strings. We're looking at the left edge, which would be this CAD line over here, as well as the left median. Now, if you want additional information with this type of design, please do find the video on either on our website or on our YouTube channel. We are going into a lot of detail. For now, let's go and switch everything off besides the left edge and the left median. Click on OK. Looking at the left road edge, we're using CAD and we then retain the crossbar. So I go and select the left edge, right click extract string, and then looking at the median information, same thing, I'm going to use my CAD entities, I'm going to retain the crossbar, go and select the median, right click and extract string. There you can see the additional widths. If I were to go to Section, Graphical Edit, click on a position, looking at the left edge. This is where the existing white line was, and this is where the new width is. As I go and press page down, you can see the position in your plan view. There we're back to the original median width, and then you'll see on the left edge, becomes wider. Now the objective is to calculate this additional width over here. Let's look at the existing layer work quantities. Go back to area volume, layer work volumes, go and specify which road layers you are using, click on OK. Let's take a look at the result. There's your left and your right hand side carriageway if you're working with the dual carriageway. You can see that you've got cut and full volumes and then the total volume. Maybe that you've got different rates on your bill of quantities for cut and fill. So we've divided it into the separate values. Looking at our total volume on the left hand side, we've got close to 19,700 cubic meters. If you want to calculate the additional width volumes. You can go to alignment, regression, extract layer works from CAD, go and specify which CAD layer you used for your additional left edge, specify your existing left edge. You can see your diagram has been updated. Click on OK and then rerun your layer work volumes. But where we previously had close to 19,700 cubic meters, looking at the total volume, we now have something closer to 3,800 cubic meters. And as mentioned before, if you want to see this type of road rehabilitation design in more detail, please find it either on our website or our YouTube channel.